Today I'm going to show you how to use our preset selector app to change the presets on your Mio XL, Mio XM, or Play Audio One U. And we're actually going to do it with a MIDI controller. We can do it using either a CC command or a program change command. And we're going to show you how to set that up. So I'm going to use a Mio XL today, and you can see in the bottom corner I have a nano control that we're going to use to be changing it. Now this nano control is connected to the host port of my Mio XL. So if I go to Mio XL 007, we can go to USB host reservation, and you can see I've reserved it into this port. So it's just in host one. So I want to find out, I want to use the first fader, and I want to find out what data that is actually sending before I get this set up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move this fader and I have a program over here called Mini Monitor and I can link that for you. And it will tell me where it's coming from, which Mio XL host one, as we expect, control change, channel one, and it's bank select, which um, might not mean much as a CC number for you, but uh, you'll see how that kind of corresponds in our app. So. We have the app right here. So first thing we're gonna do is click search and it should find your devices. So let's find the devices. Now we want the 007 Mio XL. We're gonna click on get settings. All right, so basically we want to work on the preset selector. So we're gonna need the first enable. Uh, we're going to set a minimum and maximum preset. So this is basically how many presets do I want to go through. So for this example today, I want to do three presets. I want to do preset one when I'm on the bottom, preset two when I'm in the middle, and preset three when I'm on the top. So we can switch between them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable, we're going to go preset one is the minimum, preset two or three is the maximum. And then I'm just going to do it on this first port, adjust the first channel, because that was the channel that it's sending on. We're going to use a control change, and here's where you're going to see this work out. So when it said bank over here, I'll scroll up to the top of this. You can see it said bank as the data, and so you can see that this one actually says bank after it. Basically, we have the same naming as Mini Monitor does, so that'll make it a little easier for you. So I'm going to select bank, and you can do a minimum maximum value. Um, Usually 0 to 127 is probably where you'll want to go because that's all the way from the bottom all the way to the top. And you can also invert it so it does the opposite, so top to bottom. It's just preference. And here's where we're going to do the changing of the ports. So if we click on this, you'll see that there's one that has a little star by it in this list, which is USB D, which stands for USB DAW, 1 to 16, or 1. 16. So that's the first USB DAW port and port 16, which if you look at the Mio XL and we go to MIDI routing here, we can scroll down and we can go to the USB DAW jack. And if we look at the 16th port, which is the last one, we're going to notice that this was automatically always set to preset selector. Now you can keep that there um, or you can get rid of it. That's up to you. So if we wanted to get rid of it, we can scroll down, click on it and deselect it. Uh, but we can also add. So what I want to do is I want to get the USB host port, so USB H, and the first port. So number one here, we're going to enable this right here, and that will allow us to start changing presets. So if we look at our Mio XL right now, it's on preset one. If I put this to the bottom, it'll be preset one. If I put it to the middle, It'll actually go to preset two. Now it hasn't updated here because I just need to go back and back to here. And you can see now it's updated to preset two. If I push it to the top, we can go back, go back in, and now you can see it's on preset three. And then we can go all the way back down to one. And we'll go back and go into MIDI routing, and now it's back to preset one. So you can make that any range that you want. Uh, if you want, you can still use a program change, um, which is very useful, especially if you're going to send uh, from a DAW or from a uh, another synth or something like that. A program change might be very useful for you. Uh, and then the program changes are going to run from, uh, they'll go from 0 to 127, which will 
change presets from 1 to 32. So uh, 0 would be 1, and 30 the 32nd preset will be 31 program change. So hopefully that makes some sense. Uh, different controllers start at different um, program numbers. So it could be 0 or it could be 1. Uh, but obviously one is the first preset on your Excel, so you'll have to uh, kind of correspond. Lastly, don't forget to click save settings. And if you have any questions, please let us know.